Okay, so I've got to say, before I show you too much, that there are spoilers ahead for those who are still waiting to get um, their signed limited edition of uh, Suntup Editions Misery by Stephen King. So don't watch any further because here we go. Um, this is pretty much one of the most beautiful things. What is it Annie says in Misery? The Sistine Chapel and um, Misery's Child and uh, the limited edition of Misery from Sun Cup Editions uh, are possibly the only three divine things uh, in this world. So uh, it's pretty amazing. And you know, there are so many people who are taking such gorgeous pictures, really beautifully, uh, beautifully uh, staged and, and everything. And uh, so I thought maybe I'd do a video instead. And also there's a lot of attention that's being paid. This is the numbered edition, by the way. I, I don't have a lettered, but um, this is this is the numbered edition. And uh, there's so many people who are so overwhelmed by the exterior of this book that uh, I wanted to kind of show you some of the really amazing things that are inside. Um, and there's some Easter eggs too inside. Uh, if you take a look at this, if you take a look at the, um, look at that. Did anyone notice that? Hey, what is that thing? What's that little mark right there? Oh, spoilers ahead. I said spoilers ahead. So, um, yeah, let's see. Well, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll build a little suspense around that. This is beautiful. Um, okay. Wow. Let's just get really in close so you can see the detail with my shaky hand because I like get scared just touching this kind of stuff. I have to say, like, I don't want to ruin anything and I don't like opening these things too often. <laughs> Although I know they're like meant to be enjoyed and everything. It's kind of a catch 22, isn't it? So here's what we're going to do. Here's my little signature. Hi. Hi, Steve. So um, I got to tell you, I love, I think Rick Berry is at his best as far as the artwork that he has done for this edition. But I am um, also just blown away by what Dave Christensen did. Uh, Dave Christensen did the artwork on the first editions of Salem's Lot and The Shining, and he hasn't done anything for a Stephen King project since the 1970s. So, um, I mean, hi, Dave Christensen. How are you today? Wow. I mean, seriously? That's just the detail um, is just overwhelming, um, really overwhelming, uh, the, the detail on the artwork for this whole thing. So, um, yeah, I mean, hi, just beautiful, just, just gorgeous, um, and in fact, while we're speaking of Barry, let's go ahead and look at um, some of his art here. I think that one of the, uh, let's just kind of page through it. I think that's one that um, Suntup had already shown. Uh, but I think that see we're getting close to uh the spoiler by the way so yeah i think this is one of my favorites i think this is probably my favorite shot um my favorite piece of art that that rick berry did for this um again the detail is just i i'd get in as close as i can if it weren't going to just get blurry um I'll, I'll do my best though so it's just um, unfathomably gorgeous. So this was the little thing that we were seeing earlier. And if you open, oh, 
The axe came whistling down and buried itself in Paul Sheldon's left leg, just above the ankle. Pain exploded up his body in a gigantic bolt. That's the scene. Pretty cool. Um, so this is just this is just unbelievable. The the attention to detail that uh, has been paid by by Paul Suntup in the creation of this is um, it's out of this world. It really is. Um, definitely will probably go down in history as one of the uh, the great Stephen King signed limiteds of all time. And uh, if you didn't manage to get your hands on a copy of one, uh, that sucks for you, man. That really sucks. I'm really sorry about that. Man, that really, that really blows. Sorry you didn't. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty amazing. This is unbelievable. Thank you, Paul. This is uh, an unexpected, um, an unexpected treat. What you've done with this and uh, will be cherished for for many, many, many years to come. <laughs>